So you created your character, you rigged it, you added all the shape keys you want, but you forgot to apply the mirror modifier. And you find you can't because you can't apply it to something with shape keys. Now we could delete all the shape keys and apply the mirror modifier. But with this trick, you can keep both. So first we're going to delete the mirror modifier. So we're going to do that manually. And we're going to select the armature, and make sure it's in object mode. So we can then shift select the mesh and duplicate them together with shift D and click to apply. Now we're going to press shift H to hide the originals. So we're only working with the duplicates. And we want to now uh, press S to scale and then X so that we're scaling on the X axis. But you don't need to use your mouse because we can type in on the keyboard the negative key and then the one key to essentially flip it perfectly on the X axis and press Enter to apply. Then we're going to have to press Control A and apply scale to make sure that's set in stone. Okay, so now we have two problems. One is that it's inside out, which you might be able to tell depending on your view. But even if you can't, you should still fix this. We go into edit mode on the mesh, select all, press alt N, and flip the normals. That will fix that issue. You should always do that step. The other issue is that the bones, if we look at them in pose mode, are the named wrong. So we could rename these manually, and that would rename the vertex groups as well because it's connected to the mesh. But that would take forever. So I'm going to go into pose mode, select all the bones with A, press Control F2 for the batch rename system, and make sure it's set to bones instead of objects. And we're going to rename all of the right bones, and it may be something different. It, it may, you have to look at your bones because it may look like, like this and this, or it may be the word left, or it might be something else. But uh, I'm going to rename all the right bones first to something useless like X. So I'm just going to get rid of them. They're just in the way of the renaming. And I'm going to press Control F2 again. Now I can rename all the left bones, which are actually attached to something, to right. And now we see that these are all X bones, these are all right bones, and these are essentially going to be deleted. So we can delete the armature now, because if you look at the mesh, all the vertex groups have been properly renamed. So now we can finally press Alt-H to see the original half of our model, and we can join the two halves. So Shift-Select and control J, you should shift select this one last, the original side last. And now they're merged. And if you look at it in pose mode with the original armature, you'll see that the left and right sides actually work. And you'll see that the shape keys are still there. The only other thing you might wanna do is merge the left and right vertices together because you'll see they're kind of separated. So the way you can select them all is by pressing F3, typing in manifold, and select all by non-manifold. It basically selects all the holes. And that way you can go to mesh, clean up, merge by distance, and that will just merge the left and right sides. Uh, you might want to skip that on some models, but it should be safe on most models to do that. Now that's it. We've got the entire new model. One last thing you could do is delete the X groups, but that's up to you. Good job, you did it.